everyone. It's your girl, Lexi Wilson, and I'm coming at you live <laughs> here in Girlboss University. And today's training, as you can tell by the title, is all about building confidence in your life and in your business because this is the topic that I saw a lot of people when they were answering up the questionnaire of what are some of the things that you want to be trained on and supported in. A lot of people mentioned that they just want to have more confidence, that they're struggling with, you know, telling people about their business or even starting and launching their business, uh, that they don't feel, you know, like they have enough success under their belt. And so they don't feel like they can approach anybody even about maybe asking them to join their team or asking them to hire them as a coach or as a freelancer or whatever the case is. So I thought, you know what, the biggest thing that comes when it comes to uh, growing in your business comes down to self-confidence. And so it's going to be really important that we spend a lot of time talking about this over a, um, a long period of time. I love to use like post-it notes to keep just a little secret, all right? Whenever you're going live to keep yourself like on target, use a post-it note. And then I like to put that right over my phone so I can always see. And then there you go. Secret, right? I'm sure I'm going to do a whole training on, on video because, you know, video is pretty awesome. Um, but... I, I put that there because I, there's a couple of things that I, there's like four points that I really want to make in today's training when it comes to finding yourself, uh, a, like finding a way to be confident. You guys, my, my words are all over the place. Goodness gracious. Let me get a drink of water. <laughs> okay. Because my words are all over the place. All right. We, I've been stuck in the house because uh, we have a snow day here in Chicago. Ugh, you know, so I can't go anywhere. <laughs> so I think that it's, it's catching up with me, but the point is for today, what we're going to talk about is actually just feeling confident in your own business. So last night I ranked up in my business, which was a really, really big deal. It means that I advanced, I moved on into another level and it had taken me a long time to get there, a couple of months and a lot of tears and a lot of work. But the biggest thing that I'm taking away from this is not the bonuses, not the promotion, not all of that. It's the confidence that I now have <laughs> in myself and in my business because of what just happened. So I realized like this is definitely a time for me to share a little bit of how I've found my confidence um, and how I continue to increase that. And hopefully this will make a big difference for you as well. So the first thing that I want to tell you in regards to growing in your confidence is one, think about all of the past successes that you've had. I remember learning this lesson from my mom years ago. Uh, I was struggling in school and I was just having a really hard time and I just felt like I'm never going to get where I wanna go. I'm never gonna graduate, I'm never gonna be, you know, never gonna get honors, never gonna get any of those things. And my mom told me, listen, you gotta think about all the times that you've succeeded because you spend so much time dwelling on how many times you've been disappointed, how many goals you've reached for and didn't make. You spend so much time seeing yourself in the eyes of like a loser that you're not taking any time to focus on all the times that you've won, all the times that you've went for something and it, you got it or you got better like you got to see yourself in that light and that was something that I continue to this day I'm in my early 30s and I still struggle with that okay but the one of the things is is that when you achieve certain goals and when you reach for things and you make it happen it automatically boosts your confidence because you recognize like I can do that I can make it happen so I am sure I want you to take some time as soon as this goes off I want you to take some time to think about at least five things you've done in your life where you succeeded, okay? And I want you to go past the typical things. I know that a lot of women who are moms are gonna say, well, making my children, I succeeded at that. Yes, you did. That is one thing that you succeeded. I don't want that to be that every success that you've had is related to you being a wife, and you being a mom, because those are amazing, successful things, and they take a lot of work. Oh, goodness. My mom is a stay-at-home mom, so I get it. It's a lot of work. But at the same time, I want you to think about your personal success and not just the way that you've helped other people and that being your success, because your success is also the fact that you graduated from school or the fact that you left school because you recognized that it wasn't for you or the fact that you stood up to your boss when they decided that they were going to try to tell you 
to prioritize their their job or your job over your family or the fact that you you know spoke your truth when it wasn't the easiest thing to do i want you to think about all those times that you felt like whoa i succeeded i did that it was hard and i made it happen the, say, the second thing is to change your self-talk. Self-talk is everything, y'all. It's everything. If you do not talk to yourself in a polite, kind, and gracious way, it's going to be so much harder for you to actually go after things because you're telling yourself that it's not worth it, that you can't make it happen, that it'll never happen for you. That's what you're going to be telling yourself, and so you won't make it happen for you. I know because that's literally what I do. I will often, still to this day, talk very bad to myself. I mean, I am my worst enemy. And I know that many of you guys who are watching this, you will agree with me because you probably do the same thing. Okay. So I want you to start to really listen to yourself. Are you calling yourself ugly? Are you calling yourself dumb? Are you calling yourself a loser? Are you saying that you've never succeeded, that you'll never get anything that you want? Are you telling yourself these things? Because if you're telling yourself these things, it's making a difference in how you show up. It's hard to show up for something when you don't expect anything good to happen. Think of it this way. If you have a room in your home and you're expecting a friend to stay, you're going to clean that room. You're going to prepare for that person because you're expecting a friend to stay. But let's say that you don't have a room or you're not expecting anybody to come over, you might let the house go a little bit. I mean, that's exactly what's going on here. This house is a mess. <laughs> Right. But it's because I'm not expecting anyone. You know, I know that if my, you know, floor is a mess, all I gotta do is just move the camera and you can't see a thing. Right. Because I'm not expecting someone. But the minute that I expect somebody to come over, I'm going to clean this house. Right. My expectation and my thinking about what's going to happen changes the actions that I take. And that's how you have to look at your self-talk. If your self-talk is I'm never going to get what I want. I'm never going to rank up in my business. I'm never going to get a new client. I'm never going to find somebody who's going to believe in me. Your action is going to support that. You're not going to try really hard. You're not going to reach out. You're not going to ask your friends to join you or in your business. You're not going to ask your, your cousins to support you and help you find a new position. You know, you're never going to do that because your self talk is already telling you it's not going to happen. So what's the point in trying? So change your self talk. Okay. And the, uh, the key to that is look at what you're telling yourself and then say the opposite. So if you're saying, I never get the things that I want your new affirmation, cause that's an affirmation. You are continuing to affirm that your new affirmation is going to be, I find it so easy to get everything that I want and need or however it is that you want to say that. Okay. So that's how you're going to change your self talk. Number three is remove negative influences. I am very careful about some of the music that I listen to just because I know that it messes with my mind. So here's an example. There is a Kanye West song. Okay, I know Kanye is a pretty explosive topic. We're not gonna get into the politics of it all. But there's a Kanye West song that I love. I love this song. I can't remember the name of it though right now for some reason, but I love the song. But at the end of the song, he starts saying that it would be nice to jump out the window or something like that. Now, full disclosure, I have always struggled with mental health issues. It's always been something that I've just had to learn how to deal with, right? And so hearing somebody talk about suicide is not very healthy for me because when I'm in a good mood and everything's fine, it's nothing that really bothers me. But when I'm struggling and I'm having a hard day or I'm having a hard moment, because of my own mind playing tricks on me, some of those thoughts will come in and they'll start to sound off. And the reason being is because I've actually allowed myself to hear that energy through music. Same thing with Lil Wayne, who's another rapper. I don't love Lil Wayne, but there are some songs that I jam out to, you know, but some of his songs, they're awful because they sound like, you know, they're just, not just sound, but because of the things that they say. And I don't want that in my mind. So make sure that you're removing those negative influences, not just people. Most times when we say that people are like, oh, yeah, so I get rid of the negative energy. I don't hang around her cause she gossips. No, it's deeper than that. What are you listening to? What music are you listening to? What shows are you watching? I don't watch a lot of scary movies because I know that those thoughts stay in my mind and it makes it harder for me to be, to feel safe. And safety is one 
of those things that I struggle with, that I still have to tell myself, I am safe, I am safe, I'm okay, I'm okay. So watching a scary movie, not good for me because it only triggers that feeling that, wow, the world isn't a safe place, I am not safe, all of that, I don't need that. And then the last thing is that, and this is, this is gonna be one of the most important things, but you gotta do the other three things first. One of the most important things is you have to take action. You can't build your confidence by sitting back and waiting for a sign to make stuff happen. You have to actually get up and move forward. You have to jump into that new business. You have to turn on the live video. You have to pick up the phone and call that new lead. You have to actually take some action because it's in the midst of acting that number one, you'll figure out what it is that you're going to do, like how you're going to make stuff happen. And number two, once you get off that phone call, regardless of whether or not you get the outcome that you were expecting, you are now going to feel confident that you just conquered a fear. One of my girls on my team that I'm coaching, she talked about how she had a lead and she was talking to her. She was so excited about partnering with her. And then the girl ghosted her. Y'all know how that feels, right? So the girl stops talking to her. She ghosts her. And she was like, I don't really know what to do because I really liked her and I really want to talk to her and I want to see what this could turn into. But I don't really want to bug her. So she was like, you know what? I'm just going to call her. And she called her. The joy that this girl felt when she reached out to me and said, Lexi, oh my gosh, I just called this girl. I'm so excited. It didn't even matter whether or not she actually got the lead. It didn't matter because she felt so amazing that she had conquered her own fear that she got. And listen, getting on the phone is a pretty scary thing these days because we don't do it all the time. When I was a kid, we did it all the time. Now with cell phones and texting, it's not something that we do. So getting on a phone call with somebody, I mean, it's a pretty big deal. But her confidence grew, not because she got what she wanted, but rather because she did something that scared her. She took action. And that's gonna be really important for you. If you wanna feel confident, you're gonna have to take action. So go ahead and press that live button and go live. Go ahead and tell your mama that you're, you know, getting married. Go ahead and tell, you know, and tell somebody that you're doing something, whatever it is, you gotta take action action because that is what's going to help you to build confidence in your business and in your life. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be catching this on the replay. So if you have any questions at all, make sure that you put them down in the comments and I'll be sure to come back and answer them. Of course, if you have any topics that you want me to train you on in the future, let me know. And you're welcome to talk, you guys, and to communicate and share your wins, your doubts, and all of that over on the message board so we can all support you in your girl boss journey. Thank you so much for watching and being here. I love that you're here and I'm glad that all of my information can help support you in making more money and creating a life and a business that you love. Have a great day. Bye.